Oh, how fabulous. Hello, welcome to How Fabulous by Tony & Co. I'm Tony, and in this episode, we talk to the very fabulous Maggie, or Mags as I know her. Well, you might know her as the Peninsula Mama. Now, Mags and I met, oh gosh, many, many, many years ago, um, by pure chance, and we go into that in the video, how we met, um, and even though there's a huge, well, quite a big age difference, we connect on many levels. Um, and indeed, over the years, I've helped her out as uh, a designer, including designing and um, making beautiful Jagger's little nursery, which was a very special project. Um, I've even worked for some of her family members and indeed made over the French Bakehouse at Mount Eliza, which is the very place we met. So there's that. But this talk is not all about how I've worked with, for her and her family, but it's about life and how she gets through life, how she started the Peninsula Mama, you know, and what it means to be a mum to her. And she is now expecting again, and that's a really special thing. So we talk about so much stuff. In fact, so much stuff that indeed we are probably gonna go and do another episode and probably another one after that, which is very, very exciting. So I hope you enjoy our little chat. Um, it was lovely to catch up with Mags and um, we'll leave all of her details um, uh, so you can follow her on social media because she's one to follow. She's, she's not only fabulous, beautiful on the outside and on the inside, she's intelligent, smart, witty, funny, a wonderful writer, and yes, we go into that as well. So sit back and enjoy. So, <laughs> hello and welcome. Welcome to How Fabulous. So today I'm talking to the very fabulous Maggie. Now, how do I say your surname? I want to say it with, you have to say it with a French accent though. Can you use Chrétien? Chrétien. Yeah, Chrétien. or you can just go Chrétien. Chrétien. I mean, it's not as interesting, but it's still oh. correct. <laughs> anyway, Maggie, Maggie Trillian, 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 Mags, I know her as, or you may know her as the, the Peninsula Mama as well. Welcome, Max. Thank you for having me. So, look, uh, we were talking about this earlier, how long we've actually known each other, and it turns out it's about, it's about eight years, I feel. That feels so wrong because I, I, I can't envisage that. Eight years. Yeah, because we've been here five, six, it's about six, between seven and eight years. Yeah, and, that's, wow. And the way, and this is what I like about this, is that the world works in funny ways and people come into your life for, you know, at the right time, for the right reasons. And since the first meeting, we actually, our family have got to know your beautiful family and they are a very beautiful family, um, full of women, full of very strong women. <laughs> very strong. You would disagree with that, we're all no. very strong. We're all very different, but I think strong is probably the right adjective to use for all of us. Yeah, they are. And your dad is just divine, and he's just like this beautifully um, gentle soul, French man with a thick French accent, and you know, and he's got his flock of beautiful girls that he looks after, and I love that. Yes, I've, well, I think we look after him. Okay, more. so it's that. I feel it's yeah. that. Yeah. I, and I think that when we start talking about women's things that he's not interested in, he just zones out. Yeah. He's very good at zoning out when he's not wanting to hear what we're saying. <laughs> and so, so all these years ago, we actually moved into the hood, your hood, mm -hmm. of uh, where your family owned a bakery. And there was a whole story about how we actually got to that suburb, which is another story. But we got there and we didn't have a coffee machine and we were told by our neighbours there's this most beautiful bakery literally a few doors down, you should go there. And I can tell you, we went there and we continued to go literally every day. And I feel like we kept you in business. Yeah, you did. Regular yeah. house drink skinny lattes. Yes, yes. Lots of those and lots of delicious pastries. So yes. um, the, I want to get it right, Mount Eliza 
French Bake House Mantelizer. Yes. There it is. French Bake House Mantelizer. <laughs> the best, the best pastries and pies and everything. We go all the time. Every day. And if I, we didn't see you, it, it would be like, like, what's Tony doing today? Where <laughs> <They're laughs> should go? Because <laughs> if you weren't coming in, Phil would come in. That's right. And he would get your coffee for you. Oh. So it was very much... I just remember you as the woman who just looked flawless all the time because you would wear um, overalls and make it look cool. And that that was something that I look like you're doing now. <laughs> and it was something that I was just like, I wish I could wear overalls and look cool because you had, you know, the one, it kind of like half off. And you were like, oh, I'm just like around the house today. And I was... <laughs> Looking at you like, I don't, I don't know how this woman is so fabulous. Isn't it interesting because how you perceive me, how I perceive you. So I would come in and I would see these beautifully no makeup, just hair, just tossed back with <laughs> not a care in the world. Um, gorgeous girls. And you and Izzy, your, one of your sisters worked there as well. And I would think, oh, she's just, she's just gorgeous. And then as we got to know each other, you know, what was inside, of course, was just as beautiful. And, and I think that's an interesting thing, how, you know, how you can feel about yourself and what, you know, what you think you portray. And at the time I was thinking, mm, can I just go in? I don't know, I'm not sure. But there it is, now I know. Um, so we got to know your family and in the journey, um, you've both employed me yes. as a designer and I've employed you as an actor and model, which is very fabulous. And one thing we didn't mention is that Mags is actually an actor as well. <gasps> Look, Lou's come. Come. Lou's interested. Come, baby. Hey, baby. <gasps> don't, don't, don't jump on the baby. Also, Maggie is pregnant with her second child and um, looking radiant, glowing over there. Love it. I feel like I'm glowing because I'm hot all the time. It's probably just sweat. The it's glow not, is sweat. It's not. You're definitely <laughs> glowing with that, that, that pregnancy glow, for sure. I continue. Um, yeah, so we, we got to know each other that way, and, and I got to do, in fact, quite a few projects for your family, which is lovely, and I so appreciate all the support. And your mum, especially, is hilarious. Yes. Um, you know, we, she sort of engaged me to help spruce up the bakery where yeah. we met um and i think she was a little bit hesitant to begin with maybe and then we... she is mum is incredible but she changes hard for mum yeah. and you coming in and being fabulous she's like we need that step but taking that step is really difficult and yeah. it was because we knew you it made it easier because she was like well i trust tony Mm -hmm. And also I think nice. you guys had the relationship where you knew she was, she, I think she needed to feel in charge and you let her yeah. Yeah. kind of, you know, be like, yep, okay, yep, yeah. all right, yeah. I'm going to do this anyway, but thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and oh, she yeah. loved it. Yeah, yeah, she was amazing. Everybody them, loved it. Both of them are amazing. And I've been in recently and you've also now upgraded more to move with the COVID times. You've done this yes. little... Don't come window. into the shop window thing, which looks amazing. It's really great. And I think the customers really appreciate it too. Mm. Um, it makes serving sometimes a little bit more difficult because you can only now serve one person at a time. Mm. But it just keeps the community a little bit safer, yeah, us a little sure. bit safer. Um, and it's worked really well. We did that really early on. Mm. And I can't see I'm us changing. I your post that, yeah. that something like that had happened. Yeah. It was only recently I actually saw it in action. It looked, it looked fantastic. I think it works. Really and well. we've had so many people comment on it and just really, really enjoy it and say, oh, this is very innovative. Innovative? Innovative. 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 There it is. There it is. That was hard. My what husband, was Brad. Brad was the one that thought of it. <gasps> I know. What a beautiful way to bring up Brad. <laughs> Who is one of those lovely, lovely guys, and you seem to balance, you know, looking from um, my perspective of, you know, someone that's quite a few years older than you, and and I have a partner that, that I really like as well as love, and we, you know, in society and in the community, you see that, that sometimes they're not really liking their partner, but you've always seemed to you know, look like you really 
enjoy Brad's company and respect him as a person and, and yeah. really love him because he's just such a beautiful yeah. person, which he's, is lovely to say. He's my best friend, <gasps> oh. you know, and I know that's so cliche to say, yeah. but we've got a great friendship. Yeah. We yeah. laugh yeah. and we listen to each other and we're interested in each other's goals and we don't share a lot of interests. Yep. He's cricket. He's very, very, very cricket. cricket. And I, yeah, I'm just not. I'm hearing you on that. I'm hearing you. Uh, mm. It's boring. Mm, mm, mm. But, and you know, he getting in front of the camera for him is. Oh, no, yeah. thank you. I can't do that. But you have, you must have coached, coached him on that because going back to the fabulous Peninsula, the Peninsula Mama, which is, God, tell me, tell me the numbers. How many, how, what's the, an Instagram? Uh, I feel like it's about 4 million. That's it's, it's about that. It's not quite that it's much. It's a lot. It's, it's a not lot, quite though, that anyway. much. No, I it's think a lot. about 20... 20... 20 a lot. Yeah. A lot. Like, it's a beautiful community. It I'm is. very, very lucky. You are. And I saw over the time that we knew each other, so way back when we first met, that wasn't around. No. And then you had this beautiful, mm, delicious oh. little boy called Jagger. Um, Which who, you did the nursery for. Oh, and I felt that was a really, I felt really, um, it, you know, especially when you do a nursery, it's such a special thing to be able to, to do and be part of and going, oh, there's a, a miracle of life coming home into yeah. that room and to make it so special. Um, and to have Phil and Jack in the house helping and mm, mm. I loved it. Oh. I love that space. We have not changed that space. That's very cool. But you had a very good eye. You knew what you wanted. You just needed help to be able to just action it. And that was what oh, I yeah. And then yeah. you've gone from strength to strength, doing your own different, you know, styling and all that sort of stuff, which is amazing to see. And that's how it should be. You know, just you probably needed that push. But I think you gave me permission because I think with a lot of the stuff that you do, it's it's eclectic. It, it can have pieces that you love and be you know in at the same time it doesn't mm. you don't have to do what everyone else is doing yeah yeah for do sure. what feels good to you and yeah. i think before uh, i met you i had no idea about fashion or interior design so i was just thought well, that's not my space so i can't do that i yeah. can't and do that and it's actually wrong so yeah and just... then i realized everyone can do it if you yeah. like something pop it in your house you there, know, it interior designer. There, there it is there it is there it is just that's how it is and that's nice that's a nice feeling to know that there is that that end result and and you know on the peninsula mama um in that space you ship we're filming <laughs> did you hear that babe so we can her rude um on the peninsula mama you share a whole lot of topics about about all sorts of stuff about you know, um, your acting gigs, your um, work gigs, your life, your brand, the family, the clothes, shops, all this sort of stuff. And, mm. and you've learned that um, to do it in the space and make it really engaging. And like you, we were talking about before, you're, the people that follow you um, are really into it. They're really engaged and, and listening and communicating, which is fantastic. You know, one thing that really interests me is the information and the stories that you share about. Sorry, I'm distracted by Woody over there. He <laughs> looks so cute. He's, he's got a little zip tie and he's playing with it. That's where my cat. Um, <laughs> so I have to do that. <laughs> um, and so you've got this space where you share, you know, what it was like being pregnant, you know, the good and the bad. And mm. I think that is really... That is wonderful to see because it's not just about the, oh my goodness, I'm glowing, um, about how your body and your mind is changing, how your, um, you, you know, your life changes and your relationship changes. Yeah. yeah. How, how did that start? How did, how did the Peninsula Mama start and how did you get into that? Was it, was it, was it a release? It was. Yeah. I, I love writing. And I've always loved writing and it's been cathartic. Because it was a, a blog. Yeah, it yeah. was. It started off like that. And it only started because I felt like I was going on social media and seeing these glowing women and these perfect pregnancies. Mm. And I was going through something completely different. 
Yeah, and, and I, I was just like, why have I got so much hair on my belly and no one else has? What's yeah. going on? Yeah. You know, and and this is the stuff that you you know, I remember when, you know, my son now, Jack is is nearly fourteen slash thirty five. Oh my god. I know, my baby. And I wish that I had um a resource, someone to connect with, a forum to talk about that sort of stuff. Yeah. When I had Jack, because I felt very, very isolated. And mothers groups kind of it was a that that was a really government you know it's a government run yeah you're in it's, it's you're, you're in with a very mixed bag and yeah. some mothers groups people have walked in there and loved yeah and they're still friends to yeah, this day absolutely that's right but i had one of those friends. yeah i i went into my mother's group and they were all lovely um but i just didn't connect yeah and yeah. then even my girlfriends that were pregnant and it was great but I just felt very alone still, and yeah. I think the thing is, when you have a baby, you are alone because you are, yeah. goes. and you don't, and you don't know what's normal for you yeah. because what's normal for you mm. could be signs that someone else needs extra support. Correct. Correct. So I think what I try and do is open up a dialogue. I mm. start speaking about things so that it gives permission mm. to other women to speak about things because for so long, a lot of We'd, we're just told to shush. Yeah. Oh, exactly. oh, what you pee yourself when after you have a baby? Oh, yeah. that's just mum no life. No one tells you that. And it's like, no, yeah. that could actually be a prolapse. So I talk yeah. about, you know, I was diagnosed with a bowel and bladder prolapse nearly two years after birth. So I had all these symptoms of that heaviness when um, I had my period and just not feeling right. Mm. And I would talk to kind of my girlfriends about it and they would just be like, oh yeah, your, your body changes, like your body, ah, you know. Right. But I didn't know. Yeah, I, I had no idea. Mm. So for me, mm. that's something that I'm really passionate about, sharing that and being mm. like, I want to share some information here from my physios or, or my personal experience mm. to give these women that come online to find a community, mm. the space to be like, you can talk about this. Yeah, great. I love that. I love that. And it, it's really brutally honest. It's, um, you know, but it's not sensationalized. It's just really a safe space to do that. And of course there are people that sort of engage and aren't very nice, but you know, that that's comes a whole with, other yeah, thing. That comes with everything. That comes with everything. And I look at that and I go, it is always going to come. Yeah. But I think that the good that comes from it and like I said, I wish I had, I wish I had, you know, someone and and when I was, you know, going through all of that, because I think it's, it is really important that, you know, when you are at home with your new, first new baby and you don't know what's going on, you've got all this other information coming mm. in from everybody, doctors and, you know. Um, and most of the things they're telling you is about the baby. Yeah, and you're like, what about me? That whole green book that you get yeah. is all about the baby. There mm. is nothing in it yeah. about what we're going through mentally, yeah. what we're going through physically, yeah. Yeah. what we're going through socially. Yeah, socially. Nothing. Wow. And that's the thing. And then on from that, you know, there's that baby, baby stage and then one and two and then you go oh my god i'm hysterical i just i, I don't know what this, this human's doing you know and nobody really wants to admit that it's you know sometimes just the shittest thing ever and it can be the most wonderful amazing thing ever yeah so i think you know i, I, love I think people are scared to admit that sometimes they have shit days because yeah. on the other end of the scale you know how many people out there want to have children and have mm, those yeah. issues having children so it's almost like i think what i try and do is say to people you can feel grateful and be fucking over it at the same time yeah just sure, because you're sure. frustrated mm. doesn't mean you're not grateful and you don't have to be grateful all the time because there's that toxic positivity yeah no yeah. one can be positive no all the time no it just doesn't work like that that's right so that's when you're having those crap feelings instead of pushing them down feelings are made to be felt yeah so we have to honor them exactly and i also i love the way um you kind of bring a little bit of humor into it as well and then you sort of add some beautiful 
gorgeous photos and you know. The photos I've had to work on. Oh, oh the so photos gorgeous. are oh, photos are hard. The captions when I write something that flows and that's easy. The photos because here's the thing with Instagram. People don't want picture perfect because that's not realistic, but mm. they don't want completely realistic. <laughs> they don't want real ugly. Yeah, so, because it is a visual medium. Yeah. So it's like you've got to find, <laughs> you've got to find the sweet spot where it's yeah. like yeah. The, the, the picture's stunning mm. and it's engaging because that's the first thing that they're going to see when they scroll. They're not going to read your caption and then look at the photo. Mm -mm. You have to kind of capture them. Yeah. And then it's, it's a whole it's yeah. a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Good it thing really you've got a is. massive team yeah. helping you. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Which is why you're so fabulous, incredible, and you you know, you balance all of that and all of the other, you know, um, the commitments that go with being an influencer and, 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 and having a business out of that and being a good partner and you know, a great mum and spending enough time oh, and trying to you. eat fucking all the right stuff. And, you know, you're just a really, just a lovely person. And that's yeah. nice. I feel really grateful that, that that our kind of paths did do that and that, you know, that we did kind of meet all through. Oh, absolutely. The Becquery. Absolutely. Meant to be. The universal lines. I agree. I the agree. universal lines. And so we can literally, as women, just do what we want, what we what we actually want to do. Yeah, there's no boundaries. There's no boundaries. There shouldn't be. And I think the biggest boundaries are the ones that we put on ourselves. Oh, no, I can't do that. Or, oh, I have to wait yeah. to do that. Waiting is a thing. But there's also the thing where I've learned, I can have it all. Mm. I just can't have it all at once. And that's okay. Correct. And that's the thing. Like, I, I remember, you know, there, there used to be a real big push about balancing work life uh, you know work life balance and i just don't think that exists I the just balance think does not exist there's, what's there's that a, yeah, yeah I, I think that's a fallacy and i think that the way i sort of look at things is that and it took me a long time to get my head around it was that you have to look for the good in all of the moments no matter what so whether it is just when you're picking your child up from school mm. and you have, a, you know, um, a coffee for them and you have that really nice connection or, you know, whatever it is because and not try and make it too big. No, and I think the other thing is we all need help. Oh, yes. You yes, know? Yes, we all need help. We all need help. I think mm. so often we think we have to do it all by ourselves and if we yeah. ask for help then oh yeah oh you you need help do you or, yeah oh. Ooh, can't you handle it oh yeah and the worst thing you can call some i i think anyway the worst thing you can call a woman in particular is a superwoman because it just brings up so much shit and then you just feel like you've got to and that it, because it's not that everyone has shit days all the time yeah. shit moments it's terrible you know it's it's you know it's life we're it's, humans correct correct but we can and that's i think my point was sort of you shouldn't let that put you off trying to start and do whatever you want to be doing yeah find a way mm. and some you know before you have kids the way might take a week or two weeks or, or, or three or three months Mm. And when you have kids, you know, when you even try and put away the washing instead oh. of it taking 15 minutes, I it takes that. an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> so it's just having that realistic yeah. view of things yeah. and also having that support around you. Mm. And being able to ask for help. Oh, being able to ask. Yeah. And it took me a really long time to actually go, me asking for help doesn't mean I'm a bad mum. I'm actually a better mum yeah. asking for help because I spend less time in my brain. He's trying to get up there. I'm just trying to stop the cat from jumping up and... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, is he giving me that look? He's giving you the look of like, <laughs> hey, Libby, hi. Um, you know, I love... And also, I, I have to mention this quickly before we go, but I love that you've actually got that message out there because mm. that message was not out there when I was, you know, struggling and juggling and all that kind of stuff. And I think that's awesome that you can see, you know, not only a successful 
caring, beautiful mum, partner, wife, businesswoman, whatever, doing and being great at what you're doing, but also going, oh, well, you know, sometimes it's a bit shit. And yeah, it's okay, I'm still here. And I can't do it all without my psychologist and without my physio and without my yeah. obstetrician and yeah. my family and my husband and, yeah, yeah. you know, I, I need help. I love it. I couldn't do it without sleep school. Sleep yeah. school was huge. <laughs> yeah. What, for you or for Jagger? Both of us. So you can do... Oh, I so need Yeah, that. you can get admitted to yeah. sleep school. They can. Mm, I like that. And before sleep school, we went to sleep school at six months. And that was probably when... When I went to sleep school, or when I talk about sleep online, is my biggest... You get the... Very harsh opinions from other people. Very harsh. Really? Oh, sleep wow. is a very tricky subject to navigate mm. for a lot of people. And I think a lot of it boils down to sleep deprivation and well, sleep deprivation anxiety. is actually torture, isn't it? It's oh, yeah, they actually torture. use it. It's, it's actually and it is. Thing. But that first six months when Jagger oh. was not sleeping and it was really hard, yeah. I you would have been off your head. I didn't. In, I was like, this is what motherhood is to me. Mm. I, Get I, me out. Yeah, I was honestly like, I can't do this, and I would be mm. triggered by the sun setting every time the sun would set. Anxiety. Yeah. yeah. But it's, then it's when real. I went to sleep school, they weren't teaching him how to sleep. They were actually saying, Maggie, he's okay. Let let because I thought that every time he moved or every time he made a sound, I would come to him and like pick him up. Yeah. Because of that, oh my god, yeah. oh my gosh, what, what's happening yes. here? And that is that bond that is, it's an incredible, until you've had children, you don't understand what that is. Mm. You can't. No. Like, and I think that's terrible. another thing. I remember being pregnant and people being like, oh, you'll get it when you become, I'm like, oh, I can understand. <laughs> and now I'm like, oh, you knew, you knew nothing. I know. Babe, you knew nothing. What, like, what are you doing? Phil and I often talk about it and go, oh my god, we were just, we thought we were the just knew everything and that we're not oh, going to do this yeah. and we're not going to give our time. My baby is going da, to. Da, 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 da. And we were like, oh, oh pretend parenting. <laughs> <laughs> pretend parenting is very, very different yeah. to parenting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the like nuts and bolts of. Oh, yeah, and throw in, just chuck in everything. Yeah. And I think it's such, with parenting and with being a mom especially, I feel like you you experience the highs, so the absolute high. highs, but then there's also that balance there that you can experience yeah. the lows and the anxiety and oh, because you yeah. care about this thing so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's beautiful. It, it is. It's literally a miracle of it's life. It's the best mm. and the hardest. It's everything. Well, on that, perhaps <laughs> when little baby... Yeah, baby like number two. Baby Jagger. No, <laughs> baby Jagger. He does call it his baby. Yeah. He says, my baby. Oh, stupid. Yeah. yeah, sometimes I think he gets it, and then other times he's like, look, I've got a baby in my tummy, and I'm like, oh, I thought we were there. We're not quite there. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Well, I hope that you bring uh, little baby Bunting, uh, little, uh, this beautiful little, I don't know what, is he or she is going to be gorgeous. And... Um, Bring them back. Bring them back and we'll chat some more. I'd Definitely. love to. All right. Thanks so much, Mags. Thank Bye. you for having me.